One of my big motivations is, is really just training students. So I, you know, in particular, love the one-on-one -on -one relationships with students who work in my research group. We look at trying to design materials that speed up the rate of reactions. So we're trying to make good fuels, for example, or good plastics, good materials from material that would otherwise be waste. There are particular types of reactions associated with upgrading those processes, and so we study materials that can help make those go faster. The big project we're working on now is trying to convert uh, biomass into jet fuels. And so that is a multi-stage process. And so our research is really focused pretty far downstream on that process. So other groups that we're collaborating with are working on sort of taking the original biomass and breaking that down into small molecules. And we're working on the catalyst that we need to convert those small molecules into fuels with good properties. I think there's a lot of excitement around battery technology and the electrification of, of transportation. And, you know, I share in that excitement, but batteries are heavy. I mean, I think they're going to be much heavier on a per energy available basis than liquid fuels for quite some time. And so for an application like aviation, you just can't afford to have a major jet airliner carrying the battery capacity that would be needed in order to make a flight. I think that liquid transportation fuels that are derived from sustainable sources are really important in helping us bridge to a future where, where maybe everything can be electrified. Getting a PhD here enables you to pursue a wide variety of, of careers. Students who have come through my group in some cases have gone on to do research in developing catalysts for renewable and sustainable energy, but in other cases they've gone on to something completely different, whether it's in the pharmaceutical industry or semiconductor industry or, or what have you. Yeah, I think really the degree here just prepares you to be a strong researcher. As engineers, we're always solving problems on a both on a long-term basis, but also day-to-day -day in the lab. And so, yeah, I think that's that's really one of the things that you develop in, in our program is an enhanced ability to, to solve problems.